Hello and welcome back techies. This is the sixth part of numeric function. I'm your instructor Sambhav. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get the notification on my latest videos. In this section, we will talk about n and nmis, another two very interesting functions in SAS. So this is a list of numeric functions which we have been discussing. In the previous videos, we have discussed all these functions till mod. And in this session, we will talk about n and nbis. These are really simple and very interesting. n function, it mainly returns the total number of values which are present in a given data set. So as we know that function work row wise, not column wise. So in a row, how many values are present? If you want to find the count of it, then we will be using the n function. That's why given the definition, it returns the total number of values present. And similarly, the nmiss, as the name suggests, it will give you the total number or the total count of missing values. Now guys, uh, please pay attention to the syntax, which is very easy. Variable name, which is going to store the result of this operation. So n, and then you'll specify the range of values for which you want to find the how many values are present. And similarly for n miss, so you will specify the range of values to identify how many values are missing. Let's do a practical session. So in order to do the practical session, I have already created a data set called as n, n miss in order to save some time. So this is a result of this particular data set. See, so I have created variable one, variable two, up to variable six, and these are the values. So I will be using function n and n miss to count the total number of values which are present and total number of values which are missing, right? So uh, don't forget to leave your email ID in the comment section to get the data sets and the codes. Once you have sent your email ID, I will uh, mail you the data set and the codes for you to practice. Now, in this example, in this data set, you see, as I told you, the function work row wise. So this is the first row. So when I use a function n, so it will tell me how many values are present here and how many values are missing in the first row. Similarly, it will tell me how many values are present. The function n will tell how many values are present in the second observation and n miss will tell how many values are missing in the second observation. Similarly, it will tell you for the third observation and the fourth observation, n will tell you the total number of values present and n miss will tell you total number of missing values. So let's do it. So let me say n count of n. Let me give a new variable called as count of n is equal to. I can specify n. Now I can write v1 comma v2 comma v3 comma v4 comma v5 comma v6. Sorry, this is comma. Right. But guys, specifying all these variables in this way is really very tedious, right? So we will be using range specification method. So in spite of specifying all the variables with comma, <coughs> excuse me, we will use the range specification method v1 to v6, right? Similarly, to count the missing values, I will give count count let me add t here as well count underscore miss is equal to n miss now v1 hyphen v6 now if i execute the code sas will throw me an error why because this is not the correct way of specifying the range i can understand v1 to v6 that means v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 this range specification I have also discussed in the first part of the numeric function. So in order to specify the range, you will have to use the keyword off. You will have to use the keyword off. Now if I execute this, I will be getting the result. So you see v1 to v6. So in the first observation, there are six values which are present 
and zero missing value. In the second observation, three present value, three missing value. Similarly, in the last observation, fourth observation, one present value and five missing values. Right, guys, this range specification method is really, really very useful for us. Let's say, for example, I want to calculate sum. So, sum underscore one is equal to sum of of v1 hyphen v6 right so if i execute this it will also calculate the sum see we have got the result right so i hope you have liked this video and please feel free to comment uh, uh, in your uh, comment about uh, the feedback or your suggestions so that i can improve in my video and you can also specify the topic or the list of topics in the comment section which you want to study Thank you so much for your time and patience guys and you have a wonderful day ahead and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.